Let's say I just spawned in, I wanna go fishing, but I have no gear. But I have a budget of $100. Let's go see in 2022 with inflation and all that, prices are going up, how much can we really get with $100? And then we're gonna take all the stuff we get here, and then go fishing. Let's get this day started. Ooh, haven't been to Walmart in a bit. It's starting to feel like fall outside, but in here it's definitely fall, and they got the Halloween stuff. If y'all know me, I love apple cider. I am hype for apple cider season. So today is basically a $100 Walmart budget fishing challenge. I filmed this exact video about three years ago now, but here's the thing, like a lot has changed and as you guys know, prices of basically everything, Walmart is cheap, right? It's supposed to be the best bang for your buck. So let's go to the fishing session. Let's see how far $100 can take you nowadays. And by the way, this is the same exact Walmart as years ago all right fishing section to ourselves that's what i like to see we've got some stuff it's kind of split here so we got salt water and fresh water doesn't look like we got too much fresh water stuff but that should be good and then we have um turkey doing okay my guy oh look at this this must be like a new edition of glasses right there pretty cool one eye strat oh they got the cast nets here if you guys are watching the salt water stuff i i'm starting to learn it man the cast nets if you any guys use the walmart cast nets are they like as good as normal ones i don't know anything i just kind of try to throw it and sometimes it almost pancakes but we've been getting some bait fish if you guys haven't seen the saltwater stuff it's been a lot of fun but today we're going to switch it up from salt water and probably start in this area so as i said we have a hundred dollars to buy rod reel line lures everything that we need to hopefully catch the fish today the main hitters is going to be the reel and the rod and maybe we can find a combo actually i kind of want a bait caster man last time we did this challenge we had a bait caster not trying to get some freaking paw patrol spoder man freaking rinky dink super salt interesting they definitely have a lot of different rods let me see if i see any bait caster rods here's one hold up 48 68 Hmm, that's kind of expensive. Hmm. Yo, Walmart, high key, y'all need some bait caster combos. So many spin cast and spinning reel combos, but I haven't seen, there's not just one bait cast. We've got this dude. Uh, that's like deep sea kind of dude. Uh, we got packet, I've never seen this before. This is 2064, interesting. Yeah, not gonna lie, this Walmart's kind of, kind of slacking. This is interesting. Usually I feel like you don't see line in the, package if the reels package like that oh we have another one there too huh look at that see it's usually like something like this but um do you guys see any bait casters what the heck this is the tiniest little zebco reel after further investigation we do have a bait caster this one is 42 dollars and i did actually where to go where to go where to go how much is this this was the only like actual bait caster rod that they had on the shelf and this is why you gotta check, especially at a store like Walmart before you buy. So always check the guides. But look at this, man. Look at the tip. Can y'all see that? The tip is, is not there. I don't even know how much this was, but we are not getting that broken freaking tip rod, I'll tell you that. I guess Baycaster might not be the wave. Now, obviously you just go with, what was our trail, $9.88, call it a day, but uh, this, yeah. We're being serious here. If it's between me and a 10 pounder, I'm not letting a, you know, it'll do the job for certain things, but you know. I think I saw some things kind of shiny right here, if I can get this out. And it's missing a part of the reel. Sick. I just want something that's not like broken or trash. I feel like I'm at like a, a thrift store right now. Hmm. Like, look at this right here. Is there a reason that all of these reels don't have the actual like real part on it look at all of them it's not on the other side either none of them have the the handle what is good walmart <laughs> what the heck is that about is there a handle thief all right i did not see this hiding back here let me pop this out real quick telescoping combo ozark show with some bait so it looks like he's got a spinner bait an inline spinner it looks like it's been re-taped up Did somebody steal the real handle no Twenty dollars. Cool thing about this is that it is telescoping. So if you've got a backpack, if you're going traveling or something, I think that this is just easier as an adventure rod. It's like half the price of I feel like a lot of these other rods that are probably pretty much similar. I feel like there won't be too big of a fall off in the performance, especially if there's no real handles. So 
We'll put this down here for a second. Twenty dollars, not bad. That's got line, rod, and reel, and some baits. So we're gonna be picking up two rattle traps. We have the silver and a little darker red kind of dude. As the season's changing like more to fall, hopefully these fish are gonna be kind of chasing bait. Something like, see this is a saltwater section, but something like this might do pretty good. It's a little five inch mullet. I don't really have any like soft plastic swim baits, but ooh, those might be cool too, those little grubs. I'm gonna get a pack of these mullet. Get a pack of these and then jig head. Get one of these. Oh, we're running out of hands. Boom. All right, and if they're not moving a lot, they don't really ever have the right hooks. You know what? You might just grab these. And we can either get dingers, which are like half the price, or Senkos. We got the budget, we're getting some Senkos. Just grab a pack of these, and boom. And just for the heck of it, let's grab a chatterbait. Dude, I'm gonna need to give me some apple cider ASAP. It is really feeling like fall. We got a nice, cool breeze coming out of us. It's, just, it's a, like fall breeze. You couldn't mistake it. So we're just taking our stuff and we are going to go to the deep end. This is the pond that we were at a couple videos ago now. It is very low. You can see where the water used to be, but the deep end is over there and that seemed to be where the fish were at. So we're gonna do the hike all around the pond, get over there, unbox this. We've got all of our Walmart stuff in the bag. And we'll see, man. Excuse us, plants. All right, we're not even get to the deep area. We're just gonna start off here first. It's kind of like a sandy beach you get to stand on. And it's like a sandier bottom. We kind of went with the interesting strategy here. Let's be honest, guys. That, that Walmart was kind of slacking, like high key, wasn't it? I've been to a lot of Walmarts across the country. And you know, the fishing sections are different depending on what kind of fishing is done in those areas. So ours that right there was kind of like saltwater slash freshwater, but the freshwater, was very, it was just tiny. Why were all the rods freaking broken? But we went with the telescoping rod. It is taped up. I don't know if somebody returned this or not. Let's see if we could open this up here. Hello. Feels like, almost like it was like it was wet. Like you know when cardboard feels like that? Looks like everything's inside though. Yeah. Hello? We ended up only spending $65. And we got definitely, I think, more than enough actually come out here and catch fish and if we had a buddy or two with us we could have got them rods too yeah yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna lie man as i said I, i'm a fan of the telescoping it definitely has practical use sometimes you gotta sneak it into places you know what i'm saying hello there yeah i'm just not gonna lie i mean that walmart the selection of especially rods and reels that it weren't broken, it was just kind of slacking. So we went with the good trusty Ozark Trail. I don't know if trusty is the right word to use. Let me know, out of all the stuff that you guys saw, what would you have picked as a rod and reel setup? It doesn't feel bad, let's hear the drag sound. That's how you really start to get a feel. You know, not the worst. We're in business. I'm not the type of person, I mean, you guys are homies, y'all are family, we don't, just say stuff to say stuff. A lot of the fishing world and community and just products these days, it's just like, everything's built to sell, you know? I was coming out with the better, the faster, the better sounding, the cooler looking, all that stuff. When it comes to fishing, especially if you're just coming out to like a pond like this, or like any of your, I'm sure a lot of you guys can relate to this, just like normal local neighborhood ponds. This is not so incredibly different. I mean, I would change the line out probably. The line's usually kind of garbage but it's not that much different than, you know, a super crazy expensive setup. It pretty much does the same stuff. Now, when you start getting into different types of fishing, um, it, you know, things vary, especially saltwater, and especially bigger lakes and all this. I mean, there's uses for different kinds of equipment and stuff. All I'm trying to say is just because something's cheap doesn't mean it's bad. And I feel like nowadays the fishing community will say otherwise. You, you fishing with a Walmart combo, bro? Yeah, watch this freaking 10 pounder we're about to grab here. So only thing we didn't buy, at Walmart that we're gonna be using today are these pliers and this water that has no water. All right, so first things first, let's go loud and let's go proud. One of these two, yeah, let's go for this dude first. Half ounce rattle trap. Just the weather right now, like it's a little bit toasty when the sun's out, but it just feels like really nice. And I'm really hoping today and that in the next couple of weeks that fishing is really gonna start picking up. Not that it's been bad, but just like, yeah, hopefully it gets even better. All right, 
And again, I really do appreciate all y'all for coming along this adventure day and just for watching the videos. It really means a lot. So basically, if you guys aren't familiar, this is the trap. We're going to be doing some trapping. This is a lipless crankbait. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Let's give it a cast. I saw a splash over here. This is like the first actual cast with this dude. Kind of swung it, to be honest. We need to fix this. It's kind of got that real sound. I think that's the the freaking line that's on here. Definitely doesn't sound expensive. Get a few casts around here. And as I said, the further we get over there to the right near those big old bushes, the deeper it gets and the more I think it's gonna be the better fishing area. You know what I just realized? Hold on, listen to this real quick. When you reel this reel in, Again, I think it's the line. I don't think it's like the actual reel. It sounds like uh, when you're going up a hill on a roller coaster, you know, like right before that big drop. There it is. <laughs> I will say we can slang it. So again, these are both technically inshore baits. We got the five inch and the four inch. Let's go with the four inch. This is like a glow color. Maybe it'll look good in that dinger water. There we go. I feel like a nice swim bait this time of year could be the move. I mean, I would eat that if I was a fish. Oh yeah. Dude, if I was a fish, whoo. What kind of bait fish those are? It's definitely smaller than whatever I'm throwing. We just dang gone been ate by guessing that was a turtle snap this in half it's a good amount of turtles i've been seeing i think i saw a freaking huge snapping turtle over there let's try these maybe a little big but i think let me bite it down yeah it's a little too big that looks a little weird but that looks good actually Mm -mm -mm. All right, these fish are being weird. Got to think that they've got to be in this deep area because everywhere else is so freaking shallow. But they just don't want the moving bait. So we're going to switch up to a little bit more finesse. Just got our hook and the little Senko on there. Just toss this in. Wacky rig. Generally, I probably would have gone with a 4 EWG worm hook. But Walmart like never has that. So we're going with the wacky, which I don't do enough. 
for me at least, wacky rigging is underrated. Oh, there we go. All the way out there. <laughs> I was just letting this thing sink. Come here. I was checking my legs for freaking bugs because we went through, oh yeah. Some high stuff. Not, uh, you know, not anything crazy. But I am down to clown with the small ones for now. Just getting a fish is, I mean, that's just a good starting point, right? Whew. There we go, man. Again, they're so light in color in here. Look how tiny that mouth is. There's no way he could have ate what we were just throwing. Thank you, buddy. Wacky Rig doing his thing. It's a Sanko, man. It's the OG. This is calling me mini fish. Not sponsored. But I, I, I do love this bait. Actually caught us our PB down in Florida. If you guys haven't seen that, if you guys are newer here, this year I caught my personal best bass down in Florida, and it was... Uh, Magical day. Link that video down in the description below. Maybe we'll break it today. I've seen a bunch of stuff just moving, man. There's turtles. There's little bait. Looks like there's shad that's a little bit bigger than I saw. Oh, something just really moved out there. Hey, high key. That was one of the bites, too, where like. I didn't really feel the bite too much. I just saw that the line was just doo -doo, and then it started going. You just never know when that line starts going. Sometimes that's how the big ones bite. And when you pull up, it's just, oof. Just wait. Oh, we got fish on. This might be better. My drag is not set. Oh, that's better. Yep, yep, he knows he's hooked. Or she. Oh, that's a good fish. Oh my gosh, that is actually a really good fish, come here. All right. I don't even want to mess with this drag because I don't trust this line. We're just gonna keep it loose. I snapped the line earlier just with my fingers. This is a good fish, man. On the Senko, I was not expecting, honestly, to throw this. Senko, that's a good one. Please, 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 please. Just let me land you off. I'll put you right back. Mm. It's a solid fish. They fight hard in this body of water, too, man. This pond is no jokes. All right, come here. Whew. Let's freaking go. Oh yeah, whoo, quick look right there. Oh, that's a thick one too. Freaking butterball. Wow, that's a nice fish, dude. All right, we, we need to do some surgery though, unfortunately. All right, oh geez, still lively. You should be good, buddy. Wow, thick, like, Round that put up a fight on this freaking Walmart rod, dude. Whoo! All right, let's go. We know too that there are bigger fish in here. So this is the watermelon black flake Senko, by the way. We go from baby fish to pretty freaking nice butterball fish. It's a bunch of bubbles right there. That's probably a big old turtle. It got the job done. I'm not gonna lie, that's scary. Like this, it's just the line that comes with these combos, especially like when you start getting to like the cheaper ones. To me, it's a little bit sus. It's not very trustworthy. So I'm not trying to tighten my drag down. I know it sounds dumb to have it like scratching. That's probably the right word for this drag. <laughs> like when I'm reeling it in the whole time, but you know what, man? It is what it is. And caught two fish so far. 
I'm curious though, let me know in the comments below, what is your favorite thing about fall? Is it the apple cider? The apple cider donuts? Y'all go to some freaking corn mazes? Halloween, part of Halloween? Candy, y'all still dress up? Maybe go to parties or something? Let me know. I, I, you guys know what mine is. The freaking cider, man, and apple cider donuts. Close second. Gotta stay more on top of our worm here. You know it gets pretty deep, like right about there too. Let me just sink this thing to the bottom. That's all I've really been doing is kind of like letting it do a little dance down. It doesn't dance as much as when you Texas rig it, in my opinion, when it's just going down, but I think it has a lot more action on the bop bop like that. You kind of make it clap. Oh, I just got bit. We're, we're on. Not a giant, get over that stick, over that stick, boom. I think they like it. Oh. Oh, third run of the day. <laughs> Whew. You know, the thing I've noticed though about kind of fishing with worms and other stuff. Oh, there's the fish. He's got it. I just lost freaking, almost dropped the rod. I was just saying though, I feel like uh, when you feel the bite, like you can kind of feel like doop doop. I feel like that's usually a sign it's smaller. And then I feel like the bigger ones either hammer it or they just gulp it. You don't even feel bite. Yep. Not a bad one. Thank you for playing. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, what? Oh, I just spooked all those freaking, that's gotta be a school of shad. I spooked the crap out of them. Can't tell. It's not a bad one. That is not a bad one. That is not a bad one. Whew. Ah. 
Yes, sir, Walmart combo coming in clutch. Wow. This is a pond too where like, you know, it's either hit or miss a lot of times that I've been here. But this, geez. It's kind of like a numbers day, I like it. I found kind of where all the schools of bait fish are and find the bait, find the fish. I think we found them. You wanna know just where? Well.